Hi everyone, thank you for watching. If you like this channel and you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. It's completely free and it really helps the channel to grow and to thrive. Thank you. Welcome back, Linda. It's been a whole week. A whole week? Who are you calling a whole? <laughs> well, not you, but there are some people out there that are <laughs> kind of amazing. No, I'm, I'm serious because the one thing I notice when we're in election season is just the number of these trolls and, you know, these oh idiots, the comments they so make, awful. they come by and it, like they come in to inform me. They're going to tell me how astrology works. I mean, you know, they, it's amazing. You, you you go on an astrology channel and you insult the astrologer. Great. I mean, that tells yeah, me. Yeah, and I've had, I have people, oh, such and such psychic says this. It's like, if you know what I, I come back, if I even write it back, believe what you need to believe. Of course. You yeah. think that's the right thing, then I can only tell you what information I got. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, and I, right now, it's remarkable. So you've got, apparently many astrologers that are saying the opposite of what I'm saying. And then apparently many astrologers that... Why you think they're doing that? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, because the thing is, if you keep, if you watch, it's like if you watch a, a progressive channel or a normal channel, you know, MSNBC or CNN, yeah. and then you go to Fox and you tell me, well, Fox is saying the opposite. I know Fox is telling you the exact opposite message. According to Fox, General Kelly is the one to blame for telling the American people that he was he serving. Needs to be, he needs to be crucified. Exactly. So what can I tell you? If if you don't like disturbing messages, then don't watch them. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, yes, there are astrologers who say he's going to win. I'm saying oh, that the famous one that's got 800,000 subscribers, the one in the UK. I can't remember his name. He's bald. And he swore in 2020 Trump was going to win. And then he's coming out saying the same thing. I can only tell you what I'm told. And I will tell you right now, every time I hear them saying it's squeeze, it's really close, my guys are telling me absolutely not. I think we're going to be quite pleasantly surprised. Yeah, let me read you guys something Mark Elias said. And he's the one that is working on all these cases of them trying to do fraud in the voting. I give every month to him. <clears throat> well, Trump in the post-elections, uh, by the way, excuse me, you guys, if you're hearing noise in the background, my gates are being built. That's quiet. <clears throat> Actually, it's men pounding on my door begging to come in. Um, <clears throat> well, Trump in the post-elections say that the machines in every county that he lost in America were rigged. Absolutely. Mark Elias, an election lawyer for the Vice President Kamala Harris campaign, said in an interview, will there be litigation? Yes. Will those claims have any chance at all affecting the outcome of the post-election contest? 0.000%. Yeah, and I, I would concur because you can see in the astrology in November, there's a Saturn station and also that it affects Kamala, but Saturn affects her in a very different way than it affects uh, Trump because Trump has a very weak Saturn and she has a very strong Saturn. So she's been dealing with Saturn all through this, you know, election cycle, like after she got in all the way to now, she's done spectacularly well. However, in the post-election, it'll likely delay the final, this is what's going to happen. And so I, well, we're I still going to know who won. It may delay it, but we know. Who correct, won. correct. But my my anticipation is probably no full clarity till the middle of December. That's my feeling around where the planets are. But you know, you already know this. By the way, people are always going on. Trump is really unpredictable. No, he's not. He's very predictable. He does the same damn thing predict. every single time. He tells you what he's going to do because he's a loser and he's looking for ways to tell you that he won. You know, instead. And that's really the bottom line. But, you know, bottom line, the thing is, what's the result November 5th? Or even where is it going? You know, because, for example, they might say, yeah, it's looking like she's going to win. Why? Because they still have to count a lot of votes in Pennsylvania. Where are they from? They're from uh, 
you know, the suburbs of Philadelphia, you know where that's going to go. You, you know, you can project. So as long as you know where it's going, relax, relax and trust the system. The system has held up remarkably well. You know, it sure has. It sure yeah. has. And I'll be so, oh, Andre, I know you think the same thing. Won't you be so glad when we're all done and dusted with this? Well, 100 percent, although although I don't see MAGA going away for two to four years minimum. These people are not giving in. So people like J.D. But it's definitely a decrease. I don't see an increase. Well, no, yeah, right. But I mean, the fact that they're around, it's like this thing, you know, this is like when someone is sick or whatever, you know, you, you don't often get well right away. You get progressively well. So you've got to let it settle and wait for the GOP to turn into a more reasonable party. And by the way, this connects to the astrology of the civil war because we are still in the thick of the same energy that was happening then be thankful that it's a cold civil war this time and yeah. it's a major gender war between men and women that's there yeah. too i mean that's pretty divisive but be thankful you know that they're not out there on the streets shooting them up and to those who keep saying hey there's going to be violence I don't know, but that doesn't make sense to me. He's been calling these people to do violence for him repeatedly, and they don't do it because you know why. Lawrence well, O'Donnell talked about that. Yeah, because, because why? Because they're all in the slammer. And back then he was president, and he says, well, I'm going to pardon you. You can't pardon anybody if you're not president. So, you know, people always say, MAGA people are stupid. Maybe they're not that stupid, you know, to go and commit violence. Oh, well, all the time he had to appear in court, he's saying, come on, I need you guys to fight back. One time, up. Lawrence O'Donnell in New York said he saw two or three, and they were very kind people, by the way. Well, come on, the funniest one. Remember that thing when they showed in one of the earliest trials, he wanted them to show up, and there was one, one guy, and there were all these reporters, and the one guy was covered so you could only see his eyes. <laughs> because, because he knew, or, you know, back then in 2020, we filmed ourselves so that the FBI could find us. So now... Now they put right? that on. But yeah. that's the whole point. I mean, you live in a world where there are phones everywhere. This is really risky activity, you know, and there is such a thing as law enforcement. I'm telling you, if you're watching this and you're a MAGA supporter, don't do it. It's done. Oh, listen, and, and even if anybody watches crime shows compared to the 1980s, they can ping people. They can tell you the phone numbers that were standing there. They can exactly. ping you. They have so many forensic tools now. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, bad idea. But, you know, you also, this is the thing, you also see that, you know, when you look at big astrology cycles, you see how 2020 was so, so turbulent. First of all, we were in a pandemic, right? There was a, the pl planets were clustered in one place. That's the one thing. If you're born with that, it's okay. Having a big cluster, people call it a stellium. That's good. It's all focused. You know, it's mostly good. You can concentrate your energy. Like, for example, the guy that invented penicillin had a ton of planets in a research house. So he spent his whole day you know, looking and then he that's found something good. interesting. Yeah. That's good. But globally, that's bad. That's when the whole world suffers and the U.S. suffered a lot. That's not the case now. You know, despite all this hand wringing and all this stuff in the air, I know it's scary. I get it, you know, because people say, yeah, you say that, but the polls are really tight. Okay, so let me ask you this. Do you remember 2020? According to the polls, Biden had a six, seven point lead and he barely made it in there. He won in those states by, you know, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, tight, really tight. So it was kind of a bit of a surprise. Trump was under polling there. So right now they're close. Maybe they're close, but maybe the result is not going to be close. And in the meantime, it's good to be a little scared. Maybe it'll motivate you to vote, right? Because That's what I'm feeling. Because even Kamala says, we're, it's tight, ladies and gentlemen. It's very tight. Yeah, no. And and if we don't want to know about your personal life. Tell us what you think. Also. Yeah, and I think people, hopefully they've learned their lesson from 2016 when by not voting, they put them in there. This wouldn't have happened if Democrats had just voted, you know, in numbers. And many of them didn't. Well, the huge factor is women. Women are huge. It is. A hundred percent, hundred percent. This is that thing around the the eras pattern, which is totally, totally got Trump 
you know, in a vice. He can't get out of that. He set and it you up know for what's himself. unprecedented is how uh, Republicans are announcing they're going for Kamala. Oh, yeah. Almost every day it's a new one. And, and that didn't happen in 2020. Yeah, and then on the other side of it, although they're they're not the women have the stronger hand, but the other pattern you're seeing that's weird is apparently more men are voting for him. That's the gender war, right? But yeah. in a gender war where I saw the numbers yesterday, women are outvoting men by ten percent in the early voting. That's a lot of that's a big percentage. That should be scaring them. You know, yeah. Because that's more than likely to show up in the final tally. And it makes it lethal. And because men don't like Hillary either. They don't like a woman that's smarter than them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And but that that Roe versus Wade is huge. It's huge. So that's that's a factor right there. What it did is. you call the planet? You said this is the planet that's gonna make the difference. Eris well, or something? E Eris, yeah, because Eris is a is a female figure, is a warrioress, and how you know. Kamala. So the, in astrology, you look for coincidences that aren't coincidences, correlations. You go, right. oh, that just happened. Do you remember back in July, I had mentioned that about on the era station and these planets, whenever they station twice a year, those two points, they're the most focused when things happen. And she came on the scene precisely then, like right on the spot she comes in. And then you see in her chart, her moon is two degrees from where Iris is today. Iris moves glacially slow, so it's in that region. So she reflects that Trump basically made it happen because he uttered total nonsense, rapid fire style, probably high on coke or Adderall when he was debating uh, Biden. So Biden, because of that, had to leave the race, basically, because, you know, Democrats pushed him out. Yeah. Come all in. Oh, and then he begged for him to come back. He's still begging, right? But the point is, she is his Waterloo, basically. And then separately, in the U.S. chart, you've got a ton of iris now. It's making a square. So that describes the gender war. But I've said this repeatedly. In this battle, women have the upper hand. Yes. Plain and simple. It's More so simple. than, because by the way, someone asked, uh, Happy Feet said, did you ever compare Hillary versus Trump's chart versus Kamala and Trump? I did, did, but the problem is that back then we had a big problem. There was no confirmed time for Hillary. Okay. So there was a lot of speculation and many astrologers got it wrong. I didn't say anything at the time, but I will admit that I thought Trump, he's such a clown. I thought this guy's not going to win. And then it, it shocked me when he did. But that also, you know, what, what I uh, thought was from my astrological life, what was really important is that it motivated me to really look at his chart a yeah. lot. So yeah. now, like, I have his, his chart memorized on the same level as my own. So, I mean, I can look at any current thing and go, yeah, that's affecting, you know, like, look what's happening to him now, right? I said a couple of weeks ago, the swath from mid-October to around this weekend coming up is really difficult for him. And aside from the fact that he sounds like he's gone totally loony from the things he's saying and doing, now he's got generals coming out calling him a fascist. Because he is, right? He is. Those things tend to have an effect, not necessarily tilting the thing completely, but you just need a point or two you know, to shift and it's curtains for you. When you look at his chart health-wise, is he, because he seems like he's really kind of great, great. Yeah, no, it's, he's, I, I've said this repeatedly for years, he's not in a good health zone. So far, what we've seen is a really big decline. You know, he's becoming more and more demented. He forgets things and he doesn't look particularly healthy. The problem is I can't tell you something like, well, because of this, he goes down in flames tomorrow or next month. He's in the range. He's just there. Yes. And someone even asked me this. They sent me a, I forget what it was, a text or an email saying, well, is it possible that something happens to him between now and election day? Yes, it is. Yes. It's yes. Possible. It's entirely possible. I kind of wondered if he'd even be standing there, like he might be in a hospital or something. It's entirely possible because he has the health aspects to reflect that. But those same health aspects, when they're there, they don't help you win elections. They're not good no. for that. That's the whole point, no. right? They're not just, it's not just health, is they signal something troubling, something that is not working properly.
There was a picture of him and they show he actually has to stand with his front feet on lifts to keep from falling forward. And you can see the list. They showed a picture of it. I mean, I, you know, I'm just astonished. Some of the comments I see on my channel where they will accuse me of, you know, shame on you for attacking a good man. You know, what are you? Are you mentally ill? Honestly, like, who, do you know who you're following? I mean, please, where's the logic in this? That's when I have my friend Dan who goes through and block, 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 because there's a lot of bots too. I mean, it, it's just remarkable to me that you're watching, a, you know, the most immoral sleazebag, you know, uh, person, never mind president, and you're lecturing me on, on values? <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. So his health looks pretty bad. It does. It does, and it looks bad now, and it doesn't get any better after the election. N none of the panorama gets better. It's just that, once again, people get really impatient. Why isn't he in jail already? Because this is the system we're in. This is not Nazi Germany. He wants to make it into Nazi Germany, but, but it's not Nazi Germany. You one of the hits I got, and I'm going to take a look at it later, is that, you know, all this stuff they're planning and challenging, but I almost feel like if he's still alive and he loses, he can't jump in and fight because his, he's going straight. Something's going to happen to him. It's very possible. Yes, that's a very possible outcome. Uh, I mean, you know, when all is said and done, you have to realize that he's under multiple indictments. I, I heard uh, Scaramucci say this. Now, I don't know if this is really the greatest prediction, but yeah, it was pretty sensible. He said, no, I don't think he's going to start doing the same thing he did in 2020 when he loses because he's due to be indicted November, or he's due to be sentenced November 20th. And Scaramucci said, if he doesn't do anything, you know, doesn't try to incite violence, probably the judge won't put him in jail to avoid putting a president in jail. But if he's out there asking for violence, he'll be put in jail for yeah. sure to basically corral him and you know, stop him from what he's doing. So and I, I don't know if that's mature, that that's an accurate prediction. That's what he said. But it kind of makes some sense, right? Because yeah. he's he's got a lot to deal with in, in yeah. the law, you know? Yeah, through the law. Here's another one Margie is asking about. Uh, tell me about uh, that Elon Musk. I'm not feeling good about him. No, but... And he, you know, um, uh, our attorney general that everybody hates, he's going to step down, by the way before Kamala can pick who she wants, because I see him giving his uh, his ex exit, uh, Merrick Garland. But he sent some kind of a foo-foo letter saying, you do realize what you're doing with paying people to vote can be considered, can be considered illegal, and you could be serving up to five years in jail. He gave them not a cease and desist, just sort of a, a slap like this. So what are you feeling about Elon? Well, I, I said, it, I've said it a few times. Elon is in a group of people that are headed toward tough years, 25, 26, 27. People like Alito, Thomas, Netanyahu, Putin. And he's another one because they're all in the cardinal part of the Zodiac. And, and these people, the problem they have is they have a weak Saturn. They don't understand how to do proper boundaries and they exceed the boundaries. They do things that cause society to push back. So that's starting next year and the year after. But once again, you know, don't get into this headspace that says Kamala wins in November and December, they're all in jail. It doesn't work like that. No, it's it doesn't not work like fun. that. It takes quite a while. He can still do more damage, you know, before. I see him kind of having a breakdown. That's what I saw. That's possible too, sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. I see his mom holding them and telling people to leave him alone, and I see them moving back to South Africa. Well, that would be a that would be a good thing. It would also be a good thing if the government broke ties with this guy, found the yeah. way to not allow uh, people with this much monetary power to have this much influence. Now, compare him. You know, people are always saying, "Well, all billionaires are bad." This isn't true. Compare his behavior to Bill Gates who gave 50 million to uh, camera to Kamala to you know to the campaign to yeah. the super PAC even though I heard that when you give money to super PACs the ads cost way more money they you know they totally rip off the campaign so it's better to give the money directly but anyways so 
he, and he, by the way, he, he, has, he runs a health organization. He's trying to help the world, right? Yeah. With his money. You can't compare that to this to this sleazebag Elon Musk. You can't. Oh, Elon yeah. Musk complained about his wife were ruining the uh, world with her, with her giving so much money away. He's he's brutal, you know. And yes, but that's this is the time we're living in. Uh, if you then say, I've been asked this so many times. Explain it. Why is this happening? Because of the planetary cycles that mirror the Civil War and the Second World War. They're, they were not easy times. In the Second World War, there were Nazis marching on the street in this country with impunity. It was only because of Pearl Harbor that finally FDR could say, enough. Yeah, there was one guy that just really talked pro-Nazi, right. including uh, the man who was the pilot. What was his uh, name? Lindbergh. Lindbergh, right? Lindbergh. Yeah. yeah, but remember what and happened to the- Henry Ford. Right. Remember what happened to all those people? Yeah. They were looking really good for a while. They went into oh. the back burner. They disappeared. They lost. Oh yeah, power. you killed almost three thousand of Americans in in a at Pearl Harbor. That was it. Unfortunately, America went overboard by putting American Japanese in jail. Well, of course, yeah. The, 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 this is the thing that uh, you know. We look back. This is the unfortunate part. So we realize that's bad. But imagine when people look back on this period about the MAGA crowd and, you know, a guy like Trump and so forth, what are they going to say? So, right. you know. Now, do you see anything, because I know Trump would love a war. Do you see anything coming up with that North Korea? I'm feeling like it was bad, it's bad news for them to go into uh, Ukraine. Well, they, they didn't totally go, they just provided some, aren't they providing some They're resources? Providing like 6,000 soldiers. Yeah, I, I mean, the but I saw already... like I saw this big roller thing, you know, like they do for the roads. I saw this big roller thing running over ants. It feels like it's the soldiers. I mean, I don't know. All, all I can tell you, it, just using straight up logic, North Korea, Russia, you know, I, Joe Scarber said this totally true. He said, you know, come on, California has a bigger economy than Russia. California, right? So... They don't have the resources. So when you're fighting a big block, the whole European Union and the US, they can you know, deploy that power and it's rough. And when I look at Putin, I keep saying, this thing going into 25, 26, this is not good territory. Not right. when I look at his resources. Now, if Putin had the power of the US, I might say, well, you know, maybe he's yeah. Yeah. not this way. So they're doing all kinds of things. Same with North Korea. North Korea, by the way, they only go so far. North Korea, even when his, his dad was in charge, there were these leaks at different times where they were saying, well, we don't want to do that because we're, we're going to really upset the Americans. They know very well what can happen. Well, they, like they the one way. thing that Trump did that was kind of funny, but when he threatened Trump, I will do this. And he said, come on, rocket man. We will blow you off the face of the earth. And he realized, oh, shit, this guy, we would do it. Yeah, and that's no, it, when he he gave they he made he kissed his rear. Yeah, and and these people, his father was doing the same thing. The son, they just want to party, you know, abuse women, do these horrible things, and they you know they don't want to be getting into a conflict where, how do you win a conflict? Yeah, eat your dogs and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. And these poor military, they're starving. Yeah, I don't. I I heard that some of them had already took off and. Or begging the Ukrainians to take them in. Yeah, no, a, a, a thousand percent. Uh, and by the way, none of this has anything to do with Trump. He tries to say all the time, "If I were there, this wouldn't have happened." He's he's full of it. He's full of caca. Sorry, that's the that's the bottom line. He's top to bottom, head to toe. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. He makes it up. He just throws stuff out there. Not true. And. He assisted this guy because, you know, he wrote love letters and then he let him build more nuclear weapons. I mean, he takes you for stupid. Trump takes people for stupid and they cooperated. He's Mr. Genius because he says, person, woman, man, camera, TV. And, he and, then, and then he let the, the Taliban, answer. he wanted the Taliban to come to Camp David. And you know, it's all there. But I, I think, the, you know, having said all this, people will still say, well, yeah, but look at all the people that follow him. Yeah, I know the country is in a... Sad place. I agree. 100%. Very sad. And also, yeah. he's the one that took off restrictions of processing meat, lunch meat, 
and now even the 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 Big Mac has got people are getting sick from it. Yeah, I know that. I mean, look, it, it's a constant Alice battle. Trump. Yeah, no, of course, of course. Yeah, no, and, and, it, and it, this is the thing that has become so objectionable to the way the GOP traffics. Uh, I remember in the Trump era here in my state, they wanted to remove a regulation that prevents people from throwing crap in the lake. You know, and I thought, well, what do you mean? You shouldn't do that. <laughs> How hard is that? Oh, it was a love fest at the oh, Capitol. Man. By the way, we like smearing feces on the walls because we yeah, love right. to, we love to show our love. A day of love, I know. A day of love. Yeah, exactly. That's that's how that works. This is an interesting question from Norma. What planet or planets bestow charisma? Uh, that's a tough one. Is there because, such a thing? Uh, yes, in the sense that you would normally say. Sun energy is very charismatic. Jupiter energy is very charismatic. Uh, then you can get a different kind of charisma where someone has, for example, a really strong Saturn and the charisma is a charisma of authority and of being really grounded and sensible. You know, when people say someone has gravitas, that has more to do with Saturn. So okay. you got to kind of look at the, the chart and see what someone is doing because people always think, or at least many times think, Charts, you look at the chart, you know the person. No, you don't. You've got to see them in action because, in fact, think about it. Twins have basically the same chart, but they don't do the same thing. So then why? Right. Because they do different parts of the chart. The explanation for that is too complicated to get into. Genetics, who knows? Yeah. yeah. So you got to look at what's happening, you know, and so. But, yeah, if you, if you had to say generalization, you would say Sun and Jupiter are probably the best for charisma. But, you know. Jupiter can also make you super indulgent, you know, and, and um, wasteful, right? And then even if you have charisma, what good is that? You know, it'll just be right. bad for you overall. Have you taken a quick look at Hakeem Jeffries at all? I haven't recently. I know he's got a lot of planets in Leo and I don't have a birth time for mm -hmm. him. So I can't really say too much, but the, the period is pretty good right now because a person with all that Leo they were really having a hard time in in uh, 21 and 22 when Saturn was opposite. Now Saturn has moved on. So I love Tim Walsh, by the way. Have you taken a look at Tim Walsh's chart? Yeah, Tim Walsh is fine. He's just you know totally fine. He's, he's, he's got a lot of berries. He said that dipsh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's true. He said I mean, it out loud, everybody, and they didn't tell him shh because I don't get ya. Yeah, so well, I mean, like I, it is. that's the thing. I mean, uh, if uh, it's just curious that it's, whether it's him saying that or Nicole Waltz, Nicole uh, Nicole Wallace dropped a couple of f bombs where she was reading something. I kind of was watching her, and I sort of woke up. I thought I heard the f word. Yeah, and then apparently and I thought, did she really her. just say that? She, she was reading she something. She was quoting. She was reading. Yeah, she was quoting someone else. But the thing is, meanwhile. You know the orange baboon. He's in his he's in his rallies, cursing up a storm. And then, if a single Democrat says "dip leap" or whatever, right away, yeah. oh, you're corrupting the dialogue. Please, please. I mean, look in the mirror. I don't know who this is, but Diana said in a story. Mark Halperin says he says that he will end Trump's election bid, coming out with an October surprise. There's been this stuff going on about something coming out. Do it's you possible. Feel that? Uh, well, I keep hearing that too. Halperin is, he's, uh, he used to be partners with uh, Heilman. They, they had a podcast back in 2020 and they were talking politics. And he's actually a smart guy. The problem is that he got caught in the Me Too thing because he was a smart guy, but he was getting a little too friendly with women. So then he was taken yeah. out. And now yeah. he's kind of in the background, but he's still a reporter. And he, it's possible, yeah. He might have something that... Yeah, uh, it's not out. They talking on and on some of those social media. I kept waiting, but TikTok, nothing yet. And you know, I just wonder if it's just a bunch of hoopla. You know, I said yesterday how, how the... Um, in a video that I made, how the military pattern now through General Kelly and maybe other generals might come in as well because... It's, it's Mars. Mars is, a, is the military planet. And that's the one that's causing 
Trump a lot of trouble. He's probably oh, raging. He really wants respect from the general. <sighs> Uh, you know, but he absolutely he, you do it on my terms or you don't do it at all yeah he wants obedience. so here's a good one from martha how are solar arcs determined how and why would they be helpful for the average person well so solar arcs they're a measurement that astrologers use where they take the amount the sun is moved each day after a birth so it moves forward about a degree, click, 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 click. So you take that amount and you put it on all the planets. So for example, you have your chart, right? And say you're 30 years old. So then the solar arc is gonna be about 30 degrees. It could be 29, it could be 31, depending on where you're born in the year. Cause yeah. some parts, the sun is moving more quickly and some parts it's moving a little more slowly. Well, the sun isn't, the earth is causing that effect, but whatever. Point is you can eyeball a chart and look at the person's age and you know what the solar arcs are but you've got to know your astrology to point it back at their birth chart and see what angles it's making right so right. that's where i said that trump's chart right now with the solar arcs is devastating but it's been devastating for years i mean yes the guy is there and he seems to be doing well just ask yourself that question is he really doing that well just ask yourself that question because yeah. when everything is added up you know it's the bottom line what's going to happen here the bottom line is not good period right you know that's the right that's the thing and, and you know what he's got in his solar arcs that what? strikes my ears like massive ears for the next three or four years he's not going to see the end women. Of look what happened in new york he lost that case he's yeah, and just yeah. look like rudy giuliani by the way have you taken a little look see it okay so he's a great Ooh. example he's a great example of this thing that people keep telling me they say, but, 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 Trump has Jupiter in his sign. Well, first of all, I keep reminding them, yes, but it's opposing his moon, most precisely, number one. Number two, Giuliani is also a Gemini. He's got Jupiter in his sign. How's that working out for him, right? How's that working out? Last time I saw Giuliani, he was falling over. He was in a, in a, uh, GOP. Convention. He literally crashed into all the chairs. and Drunk as a skunk. I mean, how, how passed out you have to be <laughs> yeah anyways and yeah it's not working out well because Jupiter can work if you are tying it to Saturn properly but in the longer term if it's just Jupiter nah Jupiter eventually it's just it's just as bad you know it's a an expansionary influence that can expand in, in the wrong direction such as Jupiter is not good if you have a cancer diagnosis because Jupiter expands the tumor oh, be careful yeah. right so before you start saying this planet is this and the other planet is that, you need the full story. There's a, there's a high and a low to it. Um, have you taken a look at Nalvani's widow? How is she doing? I have not. Uh, it, there's so much swirling around. You don't around. have any times probably. No, no. How do you view Trump's natal moon in Sag fifth house opposed transiting Jupiter and his natal sun and natal node in the 11th house? I just said that that's, that's the key reason why he's going down in flames because his moon, his moon energy is in the fifth. Now, part of that is all his things that he's done with women. You know, the fifth sign is a place of romance. But right away you go, okay, moon, what does it rule? Points to the 12th. He's got cancer over there in the 12th. The twelfth is, first of all, a lot of secret love affairs. Well, that's true too, but it's also a house of loss. That's where you get dinged, and the Jupiter right now opposes that moon. That is not good. That's signaling an election loss because the moon, in the fifth, it's romance. It's also the election house contests, like when you get into a. No, so you're uh, a loser. Exactly. So, so this is what I've been trying to say, but astrologers this and that people they keep telling me but the jupiter but the jupiter i don't know how many times i have to say it yeah well, well yeah. you know the proof's in the pudding in 12 days correct and the other thing by the way that the jupiter is doing for him or to him depending on which way you want to put it is jupiter gives you a lot of confidence and he's very confident in something but he's just overconfident he does this every time remember back in um uh, in uh 2019 he had a massive jupiter when he uh, he, uh, he, it's true that at the time Mueller was pushed back and he phoned Zelensky right away and then he got impeached and then after that led into the pandemic. That was a really bad period because he was so sure, I'm just going to pick up the phone and tell the guy, 
you know, if you want this, give, you me, give something me that. something and I'll run with it, he said. Yeah, and I mean, the man, in the end, he's just a heedless imbecile. You know, if you were in, sitting in government, would it not occur to you? This phone call is being monitored and I have internal enemies. Well, it the other thing is he wanted, this is no joke, you guys, and I think well, somebody wrote it in one of their books. He wanted to to hold his hand and do his presidential oath on uh, the the book he his friend wrote that he didn't even write, The oh. Art or something. <laughs> he wanted to use that book, and they said, sir, that's not going to look very good. You mean but that's book? who he is. You see, he doesn't think in terms of, Oh, do you know. really mean I got to swear to be okay? No, I'm not going to do that. You mean like that? The book called "The Art of the Steel." That one. The Art of the yeah. Steel. <laughs> no, I know. Um, I mean, it's it's. it's by really the way, fun. I'm listening to uh, War right now. Very good. Thanks. Thanks Very for the good. recommendation. A lot of details I, in there. I got Novani's book, and I got another book. I can't remember what it was that just came out. So. Anyway, well, my friend, we'll hook up next week. All then right. we only have one week to go. That's right. That's right. And I, 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 I'm saying st this next week, I think there's going to be more for sure. Something's going to drop? Yeah, no, I guarantee. You're yeah. saying that astrologically, you're feeling that. Astrologically, because astrologically, the Mars energy continues all the way to election night in a zone that is... It's challenging. It's challenging for both, actually. So, you know, Kamala has to do a lot of pushback as well. But I continue to say. Dang, she's good. I loved her the upper uh, on CNN. She didn't let him throw any shade on her. Mm -hmm. She opened that baby wide open. No, 100%. I just love Tim Walz, too. I'm sorry. I just love him. No, he's very good. They're both, uh, they're both very good communicators, which is what you need. And they're both reasonable normal people yeah plain and simple the other side is filled with cranks and weirdos and liars and schemers i mean i'm sorry it's the truth you know yeah. these, these guys it's like they they want to just lie their way through and they, and they have fox assisting them which is really sad but it's the world we live in now unfortunately TikTok, but don't worry eventually this too shall pass exactly so. but i don't feel him around i i i think he might end up in a hospital bed or something or he he crosses. Something's going to happen. Well, that would be zero surprise to yeah. me, given what he's going through. A hundred percent. It's true. Yeah. It's true. All, All right. right. Thank you Bye, so everyone. much. We'll see you again soon.